Hello friends, in this video I shall take up two important problems of the important chapter of areas related to circles. This is the chapter of class 10th and obviously area of shaded figures, this kind of questions, you know they are asked in competitions like uh, SSC, CGL, CTET, NTSC, RRB, you know all kinds of entrance examinations involving the numerical ability portion or the quantitative aptitude portion. You cannot just escape questions like this. So let's see how you can solve these two questions which are uh, written on the board. Uh, in the first question, we have a square. Now ABCD is a square and the side of the square is given in the question 10 centimeters. So how we have drawn this figure? We have drawn semicircles with each side as diameter. Now suppose CD is the diameter, so this is the semicircle. AD is the diameter, so this is the semicircle. Similarly with AB as diameter and with BC as diameter. So we have drawn four semicircles with all the four sides as diameters. So we have obtained this figure and we need to find the area of these four petals which are included between the uh, different uh, semicircles. Likewise in the second question we have a circle and this is a diameter BOC is a diameter and we have uh, taken a point A on this semicircle and joined it with C and D and uh, then we have uh, radius OD which, which is perpendicular to OB so angle BOD is given as 90 degrees so I will just mark it in the figure for you this angle is 90 degree and we have some dimensions given here AC is 24 so this is 24 and AB is 7 so this is 7 centimeter. And again, we need to find the area of the shaded portion. I have shaded the portion which is required to be found out in this figure. So let's see how you can solve the first question first. Now in this, let us first label the unshaded portions. This is the first portion, the second portion, the third portion and the fourth portion. Now if you see carefully, we can find the unshaded portions first. If we can find the unshaded portions, then obviously question becomes very easy because out of the total area, that is the area of the square, you have to just subtract that unshaded portion from this figure. So let's see how we can do that. You can see the vertically opposite uh, unshaded portions 1 and 3. Now suppose you have the figure like this. Now suppose you have this uh, square. And uh, with the, this side, we have drawn this semicircle, and with this side, we have drawn this semicircle. Now, suppose only this much figure you have drawn. Now, if you subtract these two semicircles from the square, then you will have this 1 and 3. These two areas, very simple, right? If you visualize the figure like this, then this question is very easy. But if you think of petals, then this is no figure and you cannot find the area of petals directly. Okay, so let's find the area of 1 and 3. That is the vertically opposite areas, unshaded portions 1 and 3. How do you find this? This is area of square minus area of 2 semicircles. 2 semicircles. I have just told you how this... Uh, expression has come. So area of square it is obviously side square which is 10 square and area of two semicircles they are of the same radius right because the sides are same and area of two semicircles means area of one circle right. So pi r square so pi into and what is the radius? The radius is half of this side so this is 10 so the radius is 5 so pi r square means pi into 5 square. So obviously a very very simple explanation and you can find this area very easily let's see this this is 100 minus okay so this is uh, 3.14 multiplied by 25 so how do you multiply by 25 obviously this is uh, 100 by 4 right so if you multiply the 3.14 by 100 this will be 314 and 314 divided by 4 just take the half twice so 157 is the half of 314 and uh, what is the half of 157? It is uh, 
ओके वन फिफ्टी सेवन राइट सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट फाइव या सो दिस इज सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट फाइव एंड हंड्रेड माइनस सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट फाइव विल गिव यू द एरिया ऑफ द टू अनशेडेड पार्ट्स सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर सो यू कैन जस्ट हैव ए लुक एट दिस मच सॉल्यूशन व्हाट वी हैव डन जस्ट नाउ वेरी इजी पार्ट ओके आफ्टर दिस टोटल एरिया to be found out is very easy this is just one concept which you need to know for solving this question likewise you can write similarly area of the second part and the fourth part can also be found out similarly and that will be same that will also be 21.5 cm square so what is the area of the unshaded portion area of unshaded portion is actually the sum of these two areas which is 21.5 plus 21.5 that is 43 right so 43 cm square is the area of unshaded portion so shaded portion will be as easy as it gets now area of shaded part will be equal to total area minus total area is 100 because area of the square is 100 and unshaded portion is 43 so here you have the solution of this question 57 cm square is the answer for the first question very easy right yes i am sure through this explanation this question will uh, you know take only say 2 minutes to solve in exams and if you can solve it in 2 minutes that's what is required to succeed in competitions and also in cbsc uh, 10th class 2 minutes is nothing right okay let's see one more question again now concept of uh, you know uh, concepts of the circles chapter will be used here and uh, you need to know that whenever we have a diameter then whatever angle is inscribed by this diameter in the semicircle that is also 90 degrees so how do you start the solution here you have to write that angle cab is 90 degree because it is angle in a semicircle so very important angle in a semicircle now once you have uh, known this concept angle in a semicircle then finding the area of this part that that is the um, unshaded triangle is very easy that is half into base into height because base and height both are given here and what about this part unshaded part so i'll label this as 1 and this as 2 then i'll find the area of shaded portion so area of first region first region is the right angle triangle that is half into base ab into height ac so that is half into ab is given as 7 and ac is given as 24 so there you have two cancels 12 times 12 into 7 84 cm square is the area of this triangle now angle bod is given as 90 degree in the question that means this angle cod is also 90 degree because obviously they are forming a linear pair so if a linear pair is formed and one angle is 90 then other angle is also 90 degree so this part 2 therefore area 2 is a quadrant quadrant means 1/4 of a circle this becomes 1/4 of a circle so the area of the second unshaded portion is pi r square by 4 right so pi r square by 4 so pi into pi by 4 into r square now where is the radius see in the question we are given this and this but we are not given the diameter so we can find out the diameter by using the pythagoras theorem so bc square will be equal to 7 square plus 24 square which is 49 plus 576 that is 625 so 625 is 25 square so the diameter bc is 25 cm so once we have the diameter bc as 25 then radius all automatically becomes half of that so that is 25 by 2 whole square so that is 
the area of the unshaded portion number 2 and let's calculate this one now how you calculate uh, uh, this much area this is okay there is uh, no need of putting 22 by 7 because if you put 22 by 7 that 7 is not cancelling so 3.14 into 25 into 25 upon 4 into 4 okay so 25 uh, into 4 by 4 so 25 into 4 is 100 so 100 goes uh, 314 times so 314 and if you put another 4 then this will also become 100 so another 4 in the denominator so here you have 100 means double zero and in the denominator 4 4 4 and 4 so that is 16 squared 256 now friends if you, you can find out this directly or you can leave it for the last also but you can uh, if you can find out uh, this portion directly then this will be easier to handle now I'll leave it for the last. Okay. So, therefore, area of shaded portion is area of the circle that is pi r square pi into 25 by 2 whole square. Okay. So, friends, I, I, I have one more idea here. You can leave this area here also. This will be more easier because I need to subtract this okay so this is circle and from this circle we need to subtract this area which was 84 and subtract this area which was this so pi by 4 into 25 by 2 whole square now if you take these two terms pi into 25 by 2 whole square is common and 1 minus 1 by 4 will give you 3 by 4 so this automatically becomes 3 by 4 pi 25 by 2 whole square minus 84. So just in order to save time, I will leave this calculation for you. The answer for this question should come out to be 283.94 centimeter square. That is the answer which I was looking for in this question. So again a question of, you know, uh, reasoning out how you can find out the area of the shaded portion because if you try to find out the area of the three shaded parts then this is going to get tougher but area of unshaded portions is quite easy to find in this case therefore this question can be solved like this easily so two very important questions for class 10 board exams and i'm sure this is going to benefit all those students who are appearing in board exams in march 2020 and if you have really been benefited by this video, you can share it with all those who are appearing in board exam this year and also aspiring to clear all types of competitive exams. So share it and don't forget to subscribe the channel and click the bell icon for more such useful uploads.